Imagine an engine so powerful, so affordable, it could turn the entire EV industry upside down. This isn't some futuristic concept, it's here, it's real, and it's coming from China. As Western automakers scramble to keep up, China's game-changing technology is already shaking up markets worldwide. Could a single new engine truly threaten the world's biggest car brands? And what does it mean for the future of electric vehicles? Join us as we uncover how this revolutionary engine could change everything we know about EVs. Let's begin. Section 1. China's Journey to EV Dominance China isn't just competing in the EV market, it's aiming to dominate it with a strategy so powerful it could change the industry forever. Through bold policies, relentless innovation, and game-changing technology, China's rise in green technology is sending shockwaves worldwide. Could a single new engine disrupt the entire EV industry? China's latest breakthroughs suggest it just might. But how did this journey start? And what's driving China's race to the top? This story began in the early 2000s, when China's cities were choked with pollution and energy dependence was a growing concern. The country's rapid industrial growth came at a high environmental cost. China was importing vast amounts of oil. Demand kept climbing and the situation threatened public health and national security. To address these issues, China set its sights on electric vehicles as a solution. In 2001, the Chinese government launched the 863 program, designed to push innovation in high-tech industries, including clean energy and EVs. The goal was clear, reduce reliance on foreign oil and cut pollution. Even though the technology was expensive and public interest was low, China pressed forward. In the mid-2000s, it introduced the new energy vehicle, NEV plan, focusing on battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, and hydrogen fuel cells. By 2010, the government had rolled out generous subsidies for both consumers and manufacturers to make EVs affordable and encourage adoption. Public transportation was one of the first sectors to undergo electrification. Shenzhen, a city of over 12 million people, set an ambitious goal electrify its entire fleet of 16,000 buses. By 2017, it became the first city in the world to achieve this, cutting emissions and improving air quality. This wasn't just a one-time project, but a model for other cities in China and beyond. Now, will this massive public shift make China's new EV engine the next game changer? To achieve scale, the government backed EV adoption with strong policies and subsidies. These programs made EVs accessible to the average Chinese consumer and gave local manufacturers the boost they needed to expand. Among these policies was the dual credit system, launched in 2017, which required automakers to meet EV production quotas or buy credits from other companies that did. This system forced automakers to embrace EVs, moving the industry away from traditional gas-powered vehicles. In just over a decade, China transformed from a minor player to the world's largest EV producer and consumer. Chinese brands like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng aren't only leading in their own market. They're also exporting to Europe, Latin America, and beyond. These companies are proving to be serious competitors for global giants like Tesla and Volkswagen. One of the keys to China's EV success is its extensive charging infrastructure. Charging stations have been set up across the country at a scale unmatched elsewhere particularly in major cities where EV drivers can now find charging points almost as easily as gas stations. This network has eased range anxiety and made EVs a viable choice for more people. And with a powerful new engine entering the market, how could this infrastructure give China an even bigger edge in EV technology? China's strategic approach to EVs has had a global ripple effect. Nations, especially in Europe, are watching closely and adopting similar subsidy and policy models. At the heart of China's EV industry is its dominance in battery production, with companies like CATL and BYD not only meeting domestic needs, but also exporting worldwide. This control over the EV battery supply chain has given China a significant advantage. By 2023, nearly 40% of all vehicles sold in China were electric, a rate far ahead of other countries. Just a few years ago, Seeing four out of 10 cars on the road as EVs would have seemed unlikely for any country. But through targeted policies and incentives, China has managed to achieve just that. The auto industry is in the middle of a transformation and China is at its center, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with EVs. And as the rest of the world scrambles to catch up, one question remains, can anyone compete with China's electric dominance? Section two, the BYD Seagull, 
a game changer for affordable EVs. Let's talk about size and design. The Seagull is a compact hatchback built for city life, offering easy maneuverability, quick parking, and a surprisingly roomy interior despite its small footprint. It's designed for urban environments, where every inch counts, but the interior doesn't feel cramped. BYD has managed to create a spacious, efficient cabin with comfortable seating, simple controls, and enough storage for everyday use. The result is a practical, no-frills design that maximizes space and keeps distractions to a minimum, giving drivers exactly what they need and nothing they don't. Another impressive feature is the Seagull's fast-charging capability. This car isn't just affordable and efficient, it's designed to keep up with the pace of modern life. Thanks to BYD's battery technology, the Seagull can reach a significant charge in a short amount of time, meaning less waiting around at charging stations. This feature alone makes the Seagull incredibly attractive to busy drivers who need a car that's ready to go without extended downtime. Now consider what the Seagull represents on the global market. Typically, EVs in Western markets are positioned as luxury or high-end models with a price tag to match. But here's the Seagull, challenging that status quo with a price point that makes EVs accessible to a much broader audience. This car is already making waves in places like Europe and Latin America, where consumers want affordable, reliable EV options, but have been limited by high prices from established brands. At a fraction of the price of a Tesla or BMW, the Seagull offers a practical, eco-friendly vehicle option that traditional automakers haven't been able to match. BYD has flipped the script on EV affordability, setting a new standard that will force Western automakers to rethink their pricing and production strategies. The Seagull's success is even more impressive when you consider BYD's recent financial performance. In the third quarter of 2024, BYD's revenue exceeded Tesla's bringing in $28 billion compared to Tesla's $25 billion. This isn't just a sign of the Seagull's popularity, it's an indicator of BYD's massive global impact. While Tesla has focused on high-end models, BYD has positioned itself as the leader in affordable electric vehicles, reaching millions more consumers. BYD's strategy of prioritizing cost-effective production and high-quality affordable vehicles is a winning formula that's reshaping the competitive landscape. How does BYD manage to pull off this feat? Part of the answer lies in the company's unique approach to production. Unlike many automakers, BYD controls almost every part of the manufacturing process. From battery production to final assembly, BYD's vertical integration means it doesn't have to rely on third-party suppliers. This self-sufficiency enables BYD to keep costs low and quality high, an advantage that few automakers can match. It's also what allows BYD to price the Seagull so competitively, making it affordable for a global market hungry for budget-friendly EVs. In a world where electric vehicles